Today, I want to get into YG allegedly taking legal action and what happened there. We need to get into the recent V and Jenny clips as well as now people saying Jungkook was kissing an idol. And then we need to talk about Hive stock dropping because of all of this. So hey dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumplings, hey spilling mug merch, and let's go. V and Jenny rumors have been going on for a little bit now, and some might have even forgotten that it started with V and Jenny believed to be in Jeju. The photos there were confirmed to be edited and actually ended up being leaked by a news site who claimed that they didn't know the legitimacy of these photos. Since V was believed to be in Jeju at the time, I really think this is what catapulted people to believe that the photos might be real. The photo with Jenny and V in a car, which I cannot show here, are very different compared to the photos that were seen when Gurumi Haribo allegedly leaked some photos. It was quite clear that Gurumi is in fact someone who was an insider in the industry or in the label. I don't know what their intentions were and why they were trying so hard to prove V and Jenny dating. I don't know what they were trying to accomplish. Did they hate V and Jenny? Did they just simply hate Hi? Or were they hoping that after a dating rumor this big, people would finally accept dating? Who actually knows? YG came out and actually expressed that they will be taking legal action on Gurumi for the leaked photos. Suing over defamation is very difficult difficult if you are unaware. Especially for a large company, there's things like freedom of speech and press, things like opinion, and even things that are heavily documented as news and are being reported are not things that really qualify. And then other things like the reputation of the label or artist. An artist or label as big as V and Hive are not going to be entirely ruined by some dating rumor. It doesn't change how people view V's music or how people view all of the label's music. Their reputation is just so big that those things won't have a huge impact or it'll be difficult in court to even improve that impact. However, what YG can sue for is actually privacy invasion due to the new stalker laws and things like that. Especially if the hacker did hack Jenny's phone, that is not only an invasion of privacy, but I'm pretty sure very illegal. Recently in the news, we saw Jenny and V allegedly holding hands while walking down a walkway and having a romantic evening. Of course, we could not see their faces in the video where they're holding hands. It was later believed that V and Jenny were spotted separately alongside their managers and they were wearing the same outfit. So even if you believe the videos are simply someone just cosplaying as V and Jenny, why would an alleged cosplayer be standing next to V and Jenny's alleged managers? So there's a lot of rumors like that going around. I'm not going to really comment my opinion on it as I really don't have much to say here on that. I'm curious to see what the exact reason V and Jenny could be in Paris for since it was believed that they were there for work reasons. We do often react to a lot of BTS moments and whatever moment this ends up being over on Patreon. So if you're interested in having a fun time laughing and fangirling, I will link the Patreon in the description. There is still a limited $1 tier that is open, so I hope to see you there. It was believed that YG will be taking legal action against the photographer who leaked the video, but there is no proof of the legal action. It just seems to be reported by small news sites, but nothing reported by the big ones. People were saying that the legal action was against privacy and not defamation, because it's not defamation if it's true, and the only legal action they can take is over privacy to ensure others won't do it to them in the future. However, the only action they can take is the privacy one, not because the dating rumor is true, but because defamation is extremely hard to prove, as I mentioned before. Unless YG lost a ton of money, you can't really sue for anything either. And even if YG lost a lot of money, they have to prove that the money was related to the rumor and not of the other 50 million things and artists that are part of YG. There was this rumor that Hive's stock took a bit of a dip after the recent rumor. The last time this rumor dropped, the one in Jeju, it was heavily reported that Hive's stock dropped a bit. This means that people were selling their stock after the rumor. This just means that a lot of people were scared and sold their stock. It doesn't always correlate with any actual sales loss or anything that actually happened in the company. So typically after any sort of big rumor, like maybe a dating rumor or a BTS hiatus, you'll see the stock drop. The album sales actually go up because BTS is in the news more and then you'll see the stock drop just because people are scared that the album sales will go down due to a controversy because the public might now be against BTS. A lot of what stock is and the success of stock is public perception. After new photos had come out after that situation and the photos were believed to be coming from a hacker, YG did talk about starting an investigation against these alleged leaked photos. People were saying they must be real due to the results not coming out, as I would imagine if the results were out, it would be big news. However, these type of cases go on for a long time, especially if the alleged hacker actually did have a reason to do it and it was somewhat valid. I mean, I don't know, how could it be? But this could be why the case is still 
still ongoing and being fought. Now, the alleged stock drop was with V and Jenny in Jeju and that situation, which I still believe was photoshopped. So people were thinking that the new news of V and Jenny allegedly holding hands was going to cause the stock to drop as well. However, if you do look at the stock in recent days, Hype stock is actually at the highest it has been, in fact, almost back to the pre-hiatus announcement level. This means overall the public has shifted the perception of dating, actually no longer affects the market the way it used to. And by the way, you might say that the end bit there is the stock dropping over the dating rumor, but that is not true. Stocks fluctuate heavily and change constantly. This is due to so many different things. The bottom line is that HYBE and YG artists have grown so much that the majority of HYBE and YG's income does not come from Taeyang and Jenny. BTS is responsible for a large portion of HYBE's income, but the other artists combined would make a bigger cut than what BTS brings in currently. So that dip can be for numerous reasons unrelated to dating, or it could be related, we don't know. But basically, there's not enough evidence to suggest that or otherwise. The photographer who took the recent V and Jenny hand-holding video actually did come out to talk about the video a little bit, and his answers were quite shocking. He talked about how the video was shot far away, but he confirmed that it was indeed V and Jenny. The photographer, we have no idea what company he works for or what magazine. It doesn't seem like it's Dispatch or anything like that. It could just very well be a European magazine that alleged this V and Jenny moment and caused this big storm on Online. Many were saying that YG needs to take legal action on this photographer for causing this big issue and something needs to be done. Because of this rumor, people were asking if the other BTS members were dating at all either. And one of the biggest ships back in 2016 to now was V and Jenny. So people were wondering if there were other ships that a lot of the fandom simply chalked up to just fantasy that was actually real. One of them being Lisa and Jungkook. Recently we had this rumor where it was believed that Jungkook showed up during one of Lisa's and Taeyang's dance practices. and was just watching both of them dance. People were thinking, what was Jungkook doing there? Now, of course, both of them can be friends and be in the same room to support each other. If Taeyang is at least friends with some of the Blackpink members, which we know he's friends with Lisa, it would make sense that the other members would soon follow suit and also become friends with the Blackpink members. And of course, even Suga had mentioned during his talk show that BTS absolutely adores Taeyang from Big Bang, so there would be no shock there if Jungkook did in fact show up to support Lisa and Taeyang, right? Not saying it happened, but I'm saying it could. There were some photos that recently came out where people were saying that it was Jungkook and Lisa in an elevator kissing or being intimate. There were some photos that were floating around that were edited that people thought was another situation, like V and Jenny's phone being hacked. However, these photos were edited by Lisa and Jungkook fan account that focuses on making edits of the two. So there's still no official real photos of even Lisa and Jungkook ever interacting together or being next to each other. Another photo shows two people walking out of a building completely covered up and it's supposed to be believed that this is Jungkook and Lisa. That could be anyone. Surprise is actually me. Are you surprised? I'm surprised that they caught a photo of me. I'm joking. It's interesting because a lot of these photos and edited photos float around on TikTok. Usually the editors of these photos will be pretty open about them being an edit. It will say it's an edit but then these photos are posted on TikTok with no context and they show the photo in a way that makes it look real. This way the photos appear like two idols are dating and the the blurrier the photo, the more it's believed to be real. Because there's no way to get a real clear photo of two people actually dating in 2023, right? It's like the more shadowy they look, the more it's like, oh my god, it's real, that's them. And this is why anyone who looks even remotely like Lisa and Jungkook are often confused to be them. And any real couple that can look like Lisa and Jungkook from the side are believed to be Lisa and Jungkook. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thank you for this lovely comment right here. Love you, bub.